Well, that too. I got boots. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with us today, the fantastic adult film star Rocky Emerson. Uh, first of all, I love that name, Rocky Emerson. Where did you come up with this? Thank you. Um, so my favorite musician for a long time, probably still is, Rocky Erickson. Uh, oh. Yeah, so it started off as Rocky, and then I was actually in my college history class, and we were studying Ralph Waldo Emerson, and we read some of his stuff, and I really, really liked it. And I was like, Emerson is really close to Erickson. That way, it'll still flow, um, but also, you know... Um, it'll be different. So fantastic! I notice you also have a lot of tattoos. I have a lot of tattoos. <laughs> Do they mean anything? You're, you're tall as well. Yes. What's that? Go ahead, Jake. You're very tall, aren't you? I'm six foot three. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Uh, are you Norwegian? Oh, my cat is. Knocking over the tripod. Sorry. <laughs> I mine did that last week when I was when I was when I was uh, do, doing doing a Skype call. So yes, it's it happens. Oh, yeah. Special guest. Oh, um, no, I'm not Norwegian. I am Serbian, and then a whole mix of like white American pioneer stuff. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. That's awesome. So. uh what is the cat's name, by the way? Since since Kitty. Kitty. Okay. Well, that's good. I I have a look at that original name. So uh, this tattoo on your chest, what is that of? This one. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Can see it. She's got it's the Brock Lesnar going. It's like a dagger. Um. Everyone thinks it's a dagger because you can only see the top, but it's an anchor. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Is that your, like your heart chakra? Um, it was a tattooer that I wanted to tattoo me really bad, um, and I showed up there, and I was like a kid, and I was overly dramatic, and I was like, oh, my life is so hard, and I just need something to, like, center me and, like, hold me in place. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's great. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> we have got a uh, great guest with us today. She joins us live, Rocky Emerson. You can find her on Twitter, uh, Rocky Emerson Triple X, and uh, also TrashBabyShop.com. Yes. Tell us about TrashBabyShop.com. Um, right now it's just a redirection link. Uh, I've been buying a lot of domain names during this quarantine out of random thoughts and boredom. Um, it will be eventually a site for merch to be purchased, but right now it's just a like link tree of where to find everything else. Awesome. So, uh, Jake, uh, you always have very interesting questions to ask people, so <laughs> I'm going to let you ask a couple questions and then I'll... <laughs> well, I got some pretty bland ones right off the bat. Um, so here's something I've always wondered about people that do porn or that are in the adult film industry. Do you see this as like a, some type of like self-reflection or, or like a, um, a way for you to act out like part of your personality that you couldn't, you can't normally during your everyday life? Absolutely. Actually. Um, like, a, I, like a form of self-expression. Yeah. Like I always felt very, not like lost. Um, but, like, I couldn't say a lot of the stuff on my mind because I had tried, and people were like, whoa. Like, yeah, you know, gotcha. like, I would meet people, and I'd be like, oh, choke me. And they'd be like, you have to shh, calm down. Like, <laughs> that's like, what? That right down my alley. That would have been great. <laughs> it so now I can just, like, walk on set and say crazy stuff or, like, have very casual conversations with my friends about their butts. Right. <laughs> right. Well, like that's the, I, I understand that for sure. Cause like fighting is, it's a sport, but it's also a way of like self-expression. Like I have a naturally aggressive dominant side to myself and you can't really, 
you know, like at the grocery store the other day, a guy was asking me if I needed help, and I just kind of wanted to smash his face against the chips. And you can't really – now, my, you know, my testosterone's <laughs> pretty high right now. I've been training, so, you know. But that's – it's fighting for me has been a way of – it's a form of self-expression, you know. So not only is it a sport. So I've always wondered that. Um, I can see that um, with the whole choke me thing. That's – there's been like – you know. No, that can happen in reverse as well. You grab a girl by the throat. She's like, what are you doing? Like, oh, I'm sorry. I just think you're cute. You know, so. <laughs> I think you're cute. So at first it was very separate. I was like the version of me that I had built for society my entire life to be accepted. And then there was like the porn version of me, which was uh, very, very genuine. I don't do anything I don't want to do. I don't act like I'm enjoying it if I don't. Um I like communicate very well with people before I get into work to know what I'm doing, to agree to it. Um, but it was very separate. And now since I've been doing it for so long, um, real me, you know, like the one that lives in this house uh, is, is very similar. Like there's still pieces of me, obviously that I don't bring to work. Like I love my cat and plants and hiking and like people know that that follow me, but I can't do that at work. Um, but as far as, like, making friends or dating or whatever, um, I have a lot of friends outside of work, but they know what I do. And I can be myself now. You know, it's kind of, it's forced. Somebody said coming out, and it sounds disrespectful to people that have, like, come out as homosexual. But it's sort of right. a coming out where you suddenly admit who you are, not just to yourself and your loved ones, but literally to the entire world on the Internet publicly. And so... Yeah. Um, you know, like, if I'm hanging out with somebody, they already sort of know what I'm into. They already know that I'm open and willing to talk about it. Like, there's not this weird, like, oh, are we going to be compatible? I don't know. Like, you're really nice, but I don't know what you're into. Like, it's already on the table. Right. Awesome. We have got Rocky Emerson with us today. You can uh, find her on Twitter, Rocky Emerson Triple X. Uh, where can people buy your buy your stuff? Because because a lot of these interviews that we're doing uh, with adult film stars and musicians and everybody, we're we're trying to get you guys some some eyes and some ears during the whole COVID thing. Uh, where can people buy buy your stuff? Um, so the that link you said, Trash Baby Shop, leads to most of my sites. Also, um, my Instagram, which is that one tattooed girl, <laughs> very long. Uh, I post like random stuff that I'm selling. Like I've been doing sticker packages because I just got new stickers made and stuff like that. Um, that's usually where I post the most up to date. Like, hey, uh, my OnlyFans was updated with this, or I'm selling these stickers or whatever. Um, but I have so many URLs or thetrashbaby.com. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I love the fact you're just buying random domain names. Yes. I mean, they're all applicable to me. Yes. Can I, can I, I have an interesting question for you now. This just came to me randomly. So I want to get your opinion on something, if that's okay. Yes. Do you think, do you think this would be successful? So maybe my buddies are going to get mad at me for saying this because they're all married. And But when we were in high school, we had an idea to make our own porn site. And the premise was, it was called DonateTheDick.com. And the idea was, you'd go, you get all these really strapping looking young lads, and they go find women who may not get a lot of attention from men, and you would donate the dick. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you think, now I thought that was a great idea. I thought that was like the million dollar idea. None of my friends wanted to do it, they didn't think it would work. What what do you think? <laughs> Donate the dick. <laughs> She's getting ready to buy that domain right now. <laughs> right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, I feel like that is treacherous water. <laughs> because, right. you know, people will be like, "She's beautiful." Right, right, and it doesn't. Mean, it didn't really mean women that were ugly per se or weren't very attractive by normal standards it's just like you know maybe introverted women who have a hard time meeting men etc cetera, etc cetera. Okay. i mean it wasn't meant to be a high classy type website either so you know i think it's cute 
you. I mean, yeah, you could get like the busy businesswoman who yeah, there you go. Have time to go to dinner with you. Right. That's just awesome. donate. It's tax. It's ta you can write it off in your taxes. It's a donation, technically. Okay. You know. <laughs> I can use that fantastic. right now, man. It is a, it is Rocky Emerson. Check her out on Twitter, Rocky Emerson Triple X. Now I noticed that you also are involved in something called and and I've heard about this, but I have to have you explain this, especially since we have Jake with us today. Um, EvolvedFightsLes.com. You have a uh, a fight up there with Daisy Ducati. I probably just butchered yeah. that name. Tell me a little right. bit about this. Is this is this lesbian wrestling? It looks like you guys are in a wrestling room somewhere. Looks like it yeah. got. It looks like they got better production than some of the local MMA shows that me and Jake have been to. But uh, <laughs> I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt that. <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun. They do mixed wrestling, which is boy girl, and they do girl girl. And basically, there's three rounds, I think. Sorry, I have a cat here on my eye. That's why I keep picking my face. My cat just messed with me. Um, so we wrestle, and you get points for, um, like, pinning the person. You get points for sexual acts. Um, what else do you get points for? Like, I don't know. And some people wrestle harder than others. Like, I've had full-on just wrestling, like, fighting matches. Does it like, I like, <laughs> Um, Daisy fights hard. She's really strong. Um, so that was a pretty good match. But, yes, yeah, so we do that, and then the winner bangs the loser. So then, like, I lost, so I was the prize when I'm just laying there, and I'm like, you're bummed because you lost. So you're just like, <sighs> like, huffing and puffing. But they're usually really good at what they do, and eventually you're like, this is fun. And... How do we get Jake Lindsay, Joe the Nose Wilk, and... <laughs> How do we get these guys involved well, in this? <laughs> I'm I'm down, but I'm not I'm not. Well, no, 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 no. You you you. Well, see that the the, the whole thing about the the loser gets fucked. Yeah, we we can't. Oh yeah, that's well. A, I'm not losing, so. You know, but... yeah. Well, that. So too. sometimes if the guy loses. Um, it's mainly just like they just like lay there and the girl gets to do what they want or like the girl is in charge so I can be like yeah do it like this you know I win uh, you uh, lose I see. I see does it get like pretty competitive do you guys get yeah. <laughs> it gets competitive like there's some I think even with Daisy like there was a moment where I like got bad and I was like oh hell no and I like I like rested for a second and just like let her do what she was doing to me. And I was like, ah. <laughs> This is amazing. See, I, I, I knew that this existed because I've noticed that the porn industry has started really getting into uh, MMA and fighting and wrestling and all these things because uh, there's a thing in California, the Cage, Cage Caliente, where they put the uh, – strippers and the porn stars and boxing gloves and headgear and they put them in a, in a, on a, in a cage. <laughs> I, think my, I think my friends did one of those in Vegas. I've done oil wrestling on a, at a club. <laughs> there's but something kind of like, excuse me, I'm sorry. There's Go something ahead. Kind of primal, something kind of primal about taking what you want. You know what I mean? Like, not to sound super pervy here, but... <laughs> I, I can see the appeal to that. I can see the appeal to that. It kind of it kind of calls the inner caveman. You go kill a deer. You go smack a woman over the head with your club. Take her back to your cave. You know. I can see. The, I can see where that's popular. <laughs> this is great. So uh, so Rocky Emerson. You also. Uh, by the way, if you want to find Rocky Emerson online, Rocky Emerson Triple X on uh on the twitter machine as they say uh you also have something uh that you, you retweeted a couple days ago which uh, i'm watching this clip it is terribly interesting i don't know why helpless under amazon goddess uh something for fluffy mk explain this to torturetime.com explain this to me and jake i love fluffy um it's femdom <laughs> 
female domination, which is not it, like an innate characteristic of mine. I have started to have fun with it though. Like when I look at a dude, I'm not like, ooh, I want to put my feet in your face. Um, but it's a lot of fun. So Fluffy is a fetish producer and will do foot stuff like that. I think the one you're talking about, I'm probably putting my feet in his face. Yes, he's got some yes. mask on. Yeah. And like. Are you talking mad shit while you're doing it, too? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I did another man. one recently. <laughs> it's so funny. He lived with me for, like, a month because um, he's moving out to my town. And so he was staying with my with me, and we worked for another femdom company. And the director was like, has Fluffy been annoying you? Because you can take it all out on him today. This <laughs> is, this so we is. Shot together. Um, but it's fun. I was totally talking shit. I was like, Oh yeah, you like that, don't you, you little foot bitch, you little fucking perv, blah blah blah. <laughs> you disgust me. And then I'm like telling them that they I don't know if I'm allowed to say like horrible things. Oh this. yeah. You, okay. you 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 believe me. Me and Jake okay. are gonna get fired up here in a minute and you're gonna be saying all sorts of things. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jake's like, a gentleman though. <laughs> you wish you could have this pussy, you'll never have this pussy. Like the closest you'll get is me smothering you till you can't breathe while I sit on your face, little bitch. Okay. Like, oh no, you're gonna make one of them cry. That's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. You ever, you ever spit on them? Huh? Yeah. Slap them in the face, all that stuff. I don't slap people in the face because I'm not good at it and I don't want to hurt them. My hands are really big oh. and usually I'm with like little boys, like small people. Well, not oh. small, you know, but smaller than me. And so, like, usually their head's small and my hand's big. And I'd be like hitting them over the ear or like in the temple or something. So I'm not trained. You might like. People, so I don't do it. You might bring back some like repressed memories of like an abusive mom or father. Some guy might freak out on you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we never do anything without them agreeing. And usually you agree. Oh, okay. them, just, like, well, yeah. So like I'll do like a little bit of this, but no, like no big ones. <laughs> man, is... I don't know if I can handle that, that boy. I, I'll take a couple. I'll take a couple slaps to the face. You know what I mean? I can see that being kind of fun, though. In in a in a in a in a way. It's it's fun, yeah. I mean, I the first time I did it, I was like, uh, I don't. <laughs> I'm not used to being in charge or saying mean things. Like I'm used to being thrown around. Um, but it's turned into a lot of fun because we talk for a long time before, which people don't realize. Like, we go over an entire list of, like, what could possibly happen throughout the shoot. Oh. And they say yes or no. And then if there's anything specific that they specifically do or do not want, uh, they tell me. And same when I'm on, when I'm on that end. Uh, I'll be like, do this, don't do that. Like, my boobs are really sensitive. Please don't pull on them. Uh, whatever. I forget what Fluffy's thing is. Fluffy has a thing that he has to remind me of. Or, like, don't call me this word. Whatever. Is there, like, a safe word just in case things get a little bit too intense for somebody? Um, usually if you say no, don't, or stop, or red, it changes on every set. But um, we're pretty well trained to not say stop, don't, or no unless we mean it. Um, okay. You know what I mean? Or if you're, yeah. like, gagged, you just go, mm-mm. You say, uh-uh, as loud as you can through the gag and shake your head. You know, I read an article about this, about women making a ton of money. Like, these rich guys will pay them to just treat them like crap. I guess it was, like, a big thing for a while. Oh, it still is. Um, I have a couple people that I have on, like, Sex Panther and stuff that I text like that. Um, huh. Yeah, or they'll, like, attend industry parties, and, like, I've gotten tipped because uh, I got mad. I mean, I was so responsible about it, I wasn't being, like, crazy, but I got upset with somebody for, like, disrespecting the rules of the party, and I, like, got in his face. And I know that he's into it anyway, so he kind of got what he wanted, but I was like, fuck you, like, wow. you need to behave, blah, blah, blah. And he was just like, I'm sorry, and, like, handed me $100. Wow, I've heard of this financial domination stuff, which just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Where where these guys, I, I guess they they want they want to have you 
dominate them about money or something? Have you heard of this financial domination? I've heard of it. I don't understand it. I don't know how to do it, so I can't do it. <laughs> I know. It's the weirdest. Is this like you dominating their 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 checkbook? Like you doing their yeah, taxes? Because I'm bad at math. Because I, I would really pages. appreciate it. And so you're just like, maybe it's like a task. It's like every time, like on a Skype call or something, you're like, every time you see me play with my hair, you have to send me $5. Yeah. Or like... Uh, if you think if you thought about me today, you better send me a hundred dollars or like whatever. But I don't know how to do okay. it, so I don't do it. But there's people that are really good at it, and like men really That's enjoy awesome. it. <laughs> That's I, need to find, I need to find a market for like, are there rich dudes that want to get beat up by a guy? Because I'm oh, all yeah. I'm all I'm down with that. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to get beat up, man. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> We have got Rocky Emerson with us today, Rocky Emerson Triple X. We also have the uh, fantastic Jake Lindsay with us today. He is uh, he was he was getting ready to make uh, his professional bare knuckle debut and be this be this big overnight sensation, and then the COVID nineteen came in and canceled everything. Oh, they killed it, man! It was horrible <laughs> the day before too. I was like, oh, look, man. we have a parking lot. Let's just get it done. Let's <laughs> get the get out here. Now, uh, I also n- just do it downtown Wichita in a parking lot. That that's that was my thing. The hotel was right next to a bridge. I was like under the bridge. That's in a that's a perfect location for a bare knuckle internet show. <laughs> that would have been great. You guys could have, you, you know, we, we could have got a DJ out there. You still could have had entrances. It would have been. <laughs> Right across the street, it would have fit in. It's like Street Fighter, you know. There's like two guys, and there's some stuff going on in the background. There's a hobo, possibly. <laughs> that would have worked out. Hey, I've gotten in fist fights in worse places than that. Well, that believe too. me. <laughs> so, so Rocky, tell me about this uh, other uh, tweet that you sent out here. Uh, apparently, you did something for PrimalFetish.com. Rocky Emerson versus BT sexual Ooh. supremacy match. What the hell is this? It's another wrestling. <laughs> you love your wrestling. That's great. <laughs> Only this they one, love- you're like banging the guy while you're wrestling or whatever. What? Yeah, so there's two different versions. One of them is, uh, I don't think that's the one you're looking at. So one of them is where I win. Um, and I'm just, like, putting him in different holds and then, like, posing and being like, oh, this is so easy. And then the second half of that is um, whoever comes first loses, and then the winner has their way with them. Uh, So I'm pretty sure I lost. I don't remember. We've wrestled more than once, and I shoot camera for that guy, so I've, like, I've shot so many of his wrestling scenes, and I've been in so many that I don't remember. This, this is, (laughs) I like, I like the fact that. I feel like if you lose, you still win, you know, losing sucks, but it's not that bad, you know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. How's the, uh, how's the workplace dynamic? on a set. I've always been curious about that. Like, is there like an HR human resources department? If there's an inter- interpersonal problem between two employees or is it very super professional like, or how's it, how's it kind of work? Um, it changes everywhere. I have been on sets where we had something called a Molly, which is a model liaison, um, for a really rough set that people are concerned about working for. Um, so I've had those, uh, the guy that I shot camera for had an all-female crew, um, so that if the model ever felt uncomfortable, they had like four people to choose from to approach to talk about it. Um, wow. Sometimes it's just me and the dude. Uh, so there's like varying levels of professionalism, friendliness, flirting, fluffing. Like it, it changes every set, and it's it's just very interpersonal. Like we're really good at policing ourselves, and when somebody is unable to adapt to the needs of the performers around them, they don't really work anymore. 
Wow. You know, so I've shown up to set and been like, I'm really tired. I'm going to sit in this chair. Like, don't talk to me until you have a boner. You know? And then there's other days where I'm like, oh, my God, I love you. And I've been waiting for your dick. And I'm just going to shove it in my mouth. You know? <laughs> but either way, like, we're always, oh. always happy to be there. And we're always friendly. Um, just moods change. Like, we're humans. And we're doing a physical act. Like, a very intimate physical act that requires uh, not just attraction, but, like, comfort. You know? And so... If I'm not feeling Probably that like day, like, I too. need something different than a day that I'm just, like, super horny and ready to go. It probably, you have to use a lot more focus. It's probably more mentally straining than people probably give it credit for. Oh, yeah. Um, the dudes have to keep a boner in whatever conditions. Like, we shoot all summer long, and we turn the AC off. So it can be 120 degrees inside the house, plus there's lights on you, plus there's four people staring at you, and a girl who may or may not want to have sex that day, and you're, like, standing with your legs all crazy open, and, like, only half the inside the girl so they can see your dick, you know? You're just pouring stuff, right, yeah. like, is this good? I'm tired. Oh, you still need another minute and a half of this? Okay, cool. You know? And then same with the girl. Like, for me, um... <laughs> I do a lot of really, like, hardcore, like, I get, like, beat up, you know? Like, I've been on a lot of sets that have liaisons or whatever they're called on each set um, because, like, I literally almost, like, they almost made me go to, like, urgent care one time. Um, wow. But there was a model liaison there who saw that I was not well, who saw that, like, I had pushed past my own limit and had, like, passed the ability to communicate for myself, and she was like, you're taking a break now. I was like, okay. Wow. Uh, um, oh. So if I go into that feeling unsafe or like whatever, it's not going to be a successful day. We are learning all sorts of different things today from Rocky Emerson. She is uh, fantastic. Well, I guess as we wrap up here, uh, Rocky, uh, where where is the best spot to, to find your stuff? Is it Instagram? Is it that the website, Twitter? Um, the best way to keep up with me daily is my Instagram, that one tattoo girl. It's also completely safe for work, so, like, your girlfriend won't yell at you for following me. Um, if you want to see a bunch of free previews, my Twitter is good. Um, so my Instagram is that one tattoo girl. My Twitter is Rocky Emerson Triple X. My sites are listed on both of those constantly, um, and they'll kind of lead you to what you're looking for. Fantastic. Well, Jake, I have really appreciated you riding shotgun today. This has been fun. Hey, anytime, man, anytime. And, Next uh, time I'll be on my computer and I'll track the little phone I got. <laughs> well, Rocky, Rocky, I appreciate it. And uh, we will talk to you uh, very soon. And, Jake, I'll talk to you here in a few. I'll see you later, bud. All right, brother. Nice to meet you. Bye. Thank you, Rocky. There she goes, Rocky Emerson. And uh, she joins us today here on the old Skip Skype. That was fun with, uh, <laughs> with the librarian, Jake Lindsay, former UFC guy, uh, riding shotgun with us today on that. That was, uh, that was fun. That was fun stuff. We're going to uh, take a break. 